chickens always had about a two to three percent increase in demand year on year. The, the number one is the affordability perspective of chicken. You know, chicken, you can pick up a roast, a, a, you know, a medium bird for three pound or two pound fifty. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's it's probably too cheap, really, if being honest. Chicken is the UK's most popular meat, with the average Brit consuming 35 kilograms a year. Meat production methods must be industrial if they are to meet the country's ever increasing demand for low cost consumption. Patrick Hook is the director of the UK's largest independent hatchery company, PD Hook, which was founded in 1950. They are now located all over the UK. My grandmother started incubating eggs in her garage, which is literally across the way here, um, and selling chicks to various different customers, like locally, as it were. That's when everything was very much a local thing, and when poultry was still very much a, um, a niche. Fertile hatching eggs are produced at breeder farms, where pullets lay eggs in communal nest boxes on raised slants. So if you take a standard four shed breeder farm with 36,000 birds on, traditionally we'd just, eggs would come out on a table from the nest and we'd pack them all by hand. But over time we'd put an egg packers in and basically the eggs come out on a conveyor, they go through a conveyor belt and they get automatically packed onto our trays. Eggs have thousands of paws on them when they're laid. Every time you handle an egg, you're introducing potential pathogens to that chick. Actually, when you go to egg packing, no one touches the egg. So that from when the egg is laid in a nest to when it hatches out as a chick, no human hand has touched that egg, which I think is quite amazing from a hygiene point of view. Once the eggs are packed, they are collected twice a week from the breeder farm and transported to the hatchery. Biosecurity is critical and every part of the hatchery and the equipment has to be cleaned down once a day. Eggs are stored at the hatchery at 18 degrees Celsius and are fumigated. Then they are pre-warmed for five to six hours at 24 degrees to stop sweating from the sudden increase in temperature. The eggs are then loaded into setters for incubation at 37.5 degrees for 18 days and are turned 40 degrees every hour. After 18 days, the eggs are removed from the setters and are transferred mechanically to hatching trays for the final three days and then when they go into the hatcher, they get brought down to about 36 degrees because we think that's the best sort of temperature for the chicks to hatch out at. And it's quite good for chick quality and uniformity. And At day 21, the chicks hatch and they get graded by hand to check for any abnormalities. They're then counted into chip boxes and are vaccinated before being loaded onto temperature controlled lorries to be transported to the farms. So we would hatch on average... Um, between 10 and 10.5 million egg chicks a week. So it's 21 day cycles from eggs going into chicks coming out. So like a coat hatchery, for example, we do 2 million eggs a week, 2 million chicks a week. There will be about 8 million eggs at different stages of the process from eggs coming in, eggs that are five days old, 12 days old, 21. So th there's, so in the hatcheries, although we do you know, a million a week at Africa or 2 million a week at coat, there's eggs at, in that three week process, there's three times that number. 